in this lecture we are going to design the next slide or slide 2 for that first right click on this left side panel and click new slide as usual select all and press delete key to delete all the components inside and let me close this animation pane to get a clear view before starting the design process let's have a mini preview To make this process faster, let me straight away format the background and apply the gradient fill. Since we have applied this same preset earlier, it gets pre selected. So we don't need to customize or do any playing around further. We just need to close it. Now let's copy the heading, the animated line, and the subtitle along with their animation to this slide. If you want to double check, whether they have got copied along with the animation, go to Animations tab and select Preview. That's it. We have completed designing the title subtitle part. We just need to design the content part. Okay, let's start with designing a cloud shape which is going to form the top of the tree. So let's take a circle and holding Shift key, draw a perfect circle. Now go to shape outline and choose no outline. Let me place it here. Hold control key and take two more copies. Let me place one here and another one in this region. Now I need to take one more copy and resize it holding shift key. You may not understand what I am doing at this stage, but once I complete this, you will get the final picture. Okay, let me take one more copy and resize it further like this. And let's resize it some more. Now, holding Ctrl key, let me take a copy here and one more here. I think that's enough. Now, let's take one more copy and expand it or maximize it as much as we can afford. That's it. Okay, let me expand it a bit. To cover this blind spot. Okay, we have completed the top region of the tree. Now select all of them. Make sure that the rectangle you draw covers all these shapes. Okay, now we have got everything selected. Go to Drawing Tools Format tab, Merge Shapes, and select Union to make this all circles combined together to a new complete shape. See, there is no single shape here, it's a complete one like grouping. This is going to merge all the shapes. Now, let me resize it holding Shift key because I want the proportions to be preserved. Let me place it here and take one more copy and one more here. Let me reduce the size, keep it here, reduce the size, keep it here. Now I'm going to take a copy of this one to here and reduce the size a bit. One more copy. Reduce the size a bit. Repeat the same step again. So it seems like there are six clouds flying around, right? But once I have completed drawing the stem part, you will see a tree here. Trust me. Now to draw the stem, we need to take another shape. Go to insert shapes and then choose curve. Don't choose this arc because arc is not suitable for this drawing. Curve has got a unique feature which I'm going to explain you now because you can draw customized curves using this curve shape. Okay, let's start, but before that, let me zoom in so that you can see clearly. Start here, make a click, and one more click in this region. Once I make the second click, you can see it forms a curve. See? You just need to make a click accordingly. Once you practice this, you will get where to click. Now I'm going to make a click in this region. And I'm going to click one more here. That's it. I have got a smooth curve here. If I go back to the starting point, it will finish this shape like this. 
which I don't want. I want this point, the recent dot where I click to be swap. So I will make another click here, one more here. If I just bring back the curve, it will form a curve region here, which I don't want. Similar to this dot, I want a sorp point here too. So I'm going to make another click. Make another click here and then bring back the curve to this region. A click. And that's it. Now let me make a click once here, one more here. Click. 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 Another click here. That's it. Now I can join this. We have got the stem, but it doesn't look like that, isn't it? <laughs> Don't worry. Just remove the shape outline and take a copy of it. Resize it and rotate it. that's it we have got the tree trust me it's a tree <laughs> okay now select all these and press ctrl g or you can just go to drawing tools format tab and select union no problem select union we have got a complete tree now you can even delete these clouds and take a complete tree or you can just select the stem and make a copy both will do fine. Hold shift key and resize it. Now we are going to fill this three trees with a background image. For this, select the tree, go to Drawing Tools Format tab. If you are already in the tab, then no problem. Just click this expand arrow under the shape styles. It will open this format shape window. Or alternatively, you can right click and choose format shape. Now, instead of the solid fill, select picture or texture fill and choose online. If you have got any pictures that is already in your computer, then you can choose file, that is insert picture from file and choose any picture you want. But normally I don't use pictures in my PC. I just search on the Bing and I get any picture I want. Whenever you are using any project like this or any PowerPoint presentation that you are selling to your client, make sure you choose Creative Commons only. In this manner, you will get escape from any future copyright claims which may require you to pay hundreds or thousands of dollars. So make sure that you select Creative Commons only. Now let me choose this picture and click Insert. It's way above 4K resolution. It's almost 8K, so it will take some time. Okay, now let me choose another picture for this tree. By default, the previous picture gets applied automatically. But still, if you want to change the picture, you can do. Let me choose this nature. And for the third tree, let's repeat the process. Let me choose this one. That's it. Now let me rearrange or realign these trees to accommodate further elements that I'm going to add. Okay, let me reduce the size so you can see everything clearly. Now we are going to add a few lines of text, a sample heading and two lines of subtitle or sub sample heading you can call it. For that, as usual, go to insert on text box. You can type anywhere. We can place it or arrange it later. Okay, here's sample heading one. As usual, I'm going to choose the Monstrat font and increase the spacing to loose. Increase the size to 20 and change the color to green. Let me place it here. Now let's add a few lines of text here. As usual, after typing, just reduce the width. 
okay that's fine now let's place it here and change the color to some shades of gray and i'm going to use lato font for these sub sample headings and that's fine or can we increase the width no this is fine now i'm going to add a dotted line like we did for this slide one for this go to insert shapes and choose double headed arrow but this time we are going to use elbow double arrow let me zoom in make a click in this gray dot and let's place it to here okay the yellow dots have gone so far i think this is fine but we need to format the shape i don't like blind lines because while animating if they are dotted they look much nicer compared to the blind lines so choose the dash type to round dot and cap type to round and as usual choose the begin arrow to oval and the same for end two change the color to green make sure you choose the same color as what you have assigned for the sample heading so that it follows some design principles that's it now select the heading the subheading and the arrow press ctrl g to group them together as usual this is just for the animation purpose hold the ctrl key and take a copy place it here change the heading number to two and then realign the dot to one of these one so make sure you have corrected the line using these yellow dots now we just need to change the color of the dotted line to orange the same goes for the heading two go to home and choose orange that's it now repeat the process for sample heading three let's color it to blue similarly change the color of the dotted line to blue too let's attach it here and bring these hello dots here that's it we have completed drawing or designing this slide too if you want to add a final touch then i can suggest one more thing apart from what you have seen in the preview go to insert shapes and choose this square or a frame it's called a frame draw to the entire slide and adjust this yellow dot so as it doesn't disturb this sample heading now remove the shape outline and change the fill color to slide background fill it will make a nice effect you can see here it cuts down the trees you might be seeing the bottom part of these three trees here but see when you go to this slide preview the bottom part gets cut down and the frame perfectly blends with the background so it seems like the tree doesn't grow all the way from the bottom but it starts within the slide and it ends within the slide somewhat nice in the next lecture let's do the animation part of this slide too